like uh, Mathur, have you heard the news? And I was like, man, what piece of bad news are you giving me today? I don't want it. As long as in my mind, as an actor, there still exists the barrier of like, this is a gay part, this is a straight part. Hmm. If that line is still there, I started feeling like my support is a little empty and hollow. I used to just be like, I used to get an invitation and be like, yeah, you know, weddings make me very emotional. Yeah, many <laughs> Hey everyone, with me today is the star of Made in Heaven and the recently Emmy nominated actor Arjun Mathur. Congratulations, Hi. Arjun. Thank you so much, Rahul. Thank you. Thank and you welcome to Film Fest Spotlight. I think this is the right time for you to be on the show. I mean, it's an honor I'm sure for all of us, in fact, that you're nominated uh, in the Best Actor category of Emmy International. Yeah, thank you. It's a huge honor for me, to be honest. I mean, uh, I can only, this could only have been a fantasy, you know, that I'd be representing uh, our industry, our country, all the talent that our country has to offer um, on such a global platform. Uh, you know, I think few and fortunate get an opportunity like this. Exactly. That's why I said that, you know, of course, it's a very big thing for you. But for us, all of us as a country, you know, it just makes us yeah. proud. I'll be honest, you know something, it's like people have been asking me how I'm feeling and what it's been like and all. I'm honestly speaking, the last week, it's been a week, I didn't even realize, you know, because it feels like two, three days. But uh, I've just been like in such a frenzy of, uh, I mean, like press and stuff and, uh, you know, responding to messages and all this. I haven't actually had much time to stop and think and feel too much, you know. But what makes it real for me is um, people like you and my friends and my family and, you know, the fact that this is such a big deal for everybody else is what makes it all the more real for me, you know. Tell me, um, how did you get the news and who was the one who told you about this? So I was just like having a pretty regular morning drinking my coffee and stuff and uh, I got a phone call from Shaoni Gupta, actor mm -hmm. whose show is also nominated. Yes. And she was like, uh, Mathur, have you heard the news? And I was like, man, what piece of bad news are you giving me today? <laughs> I don't want it. You know? Yeah, she was like, shut up, just check your mind. Right now, bad news is yeah, good. Absolutely. Yaar, dar lag jata hai. Koi yeah. jab bolta hai, have you heard the news? You're just like, ab kya hai? Hmm. But um, she was like, check your messages. Dekha mene, there was this article from Deadline Hollywood. It had my name. I, it took me a good 10-15 minutes to believe that what I'm looking at is real. You know, I was just like, no, 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 no. This is a joke. This is a mistake. It's a lie. And all this stuff was going on. And until finally Aparna from Amazon called me and uh, Ritesh messaged me and all this stuff. And I was like, oh, oh, this is happening. Arjun, you know, you have been... Uh, in the industry for a long time now and you've all often mentioned that after working with, on so many films and so many projects it was actually made in heaven which has to be the most important project for you and the turning point of your career am I right? I suppose you could say that in a sense I think until now uh, a lot of people I think the industry pretty much knew me always as a dependable actor yeah. um, but I know that like conventional commercial Bollywood success has sort of evaded me. Um, and I guess, I don't know, you know, I still don't know. I don't know. I don't have a meter of how bankable I am or what my, I know I still don't have too much of a box office standing because even Made in Heaven was like a, it's a streaming show at the end of it. And I know that like box office is box office, you know, it works very differently still. Yeah. yeah. Um, but certainly, uh, I would call it a turning point. I think because of the marvelous reach of the show, because of the makers and the reputation and, you know, commitment to quality that one associates with them. Arjun, you know, apart from the supreme storytelling and performances, Made in Heaven also got a lot of praise because of the way homosexuality was portrayed on the show, you know, not yeah, caricaturish yeah. with a lot of sensitivity yeah. and, you know, mm -hmm. and you have also played a gay character in I Am before. 
I want to ask you, yep. how have these experiences changed your perception towards the community? Uh, you know, have you understood it better? What was like, what challenges they go through? Um, well, let's go even further back. I am was not the first time that I did it. Yes, in fact, the uh, first time a, a migrant, right? My migration. It yeah, migration. Mira yeah. and I are short. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that was the first piece of work I ever put out. Migration was the first short film I ever did. Yeah. And, you know, and that, at that time, well, it was like, it wasn't even a question, you know. Mm. People tell me, how did you do something so risky in your first film and all. I was like, what's the risk? I mean, I'm offered something, a struggling actor is offered something by Meera Nair mm. acting opposite Irfan Khan. What is the, what, what's the debate, you know? <laughs> and uh, so that was that. And the second time, with I am, it was very much about like challenging myself as an actor and pushing my own boundaries because it had an intimate scene with a man and that scared the shit out of me at the time. And I wanted to overcome that as an actor. By the time Made in Heaven came to me, right? It was like I, in my first meeting and actually in my first audition, they didn't even tell me that this was a gay part. Right. Uh, they, I did a great audition. And then the second time I went in, then very slowly it was revealed that uh, you know, maybe this character is gay. Uh, they were also trying to suss and rightfully so because they thought that if I find out if when I hear it's a gay part, I may not do it because I've done it twice before. So my first meeting with Zoya, I went in and I expressed that to her, you know, like I've done this, like, I've, I've you know, I don't know why me again, you know, like let other actors challenge themselves. Yeah. Um, she asked me to take it home and read it. It took me one episode. I mean, it took me one night of reading and reading all the episodes to completely change my, uh, to change everything. And I was like, wow, thank God this has come to me, you know, uh, because I saw in Made in Heaven, firstly, you know what? Okay. We all say we're supporters, but as long as in my mind, as an actor, there still exists the barrier of like, this is a gay part. This is a straight part. Mm -hmm. If that line is still there. I started feeling like my support is a little empty and hollow. Yeah. So Made in Heaven kind of gave me the opportunity to basically put my money where my mouth is, you know, and really uh, be a part of something that was really uh, taking a loud and clear stance in support of the community. Arjun, I want to ask you, you know, actors yeah. often have to go out of their natural ease and comfort zone to do things, you know. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. In obviously in Made in Heaven, you had to really go all out intense in terms of the intimate mm. things with men. Yeah, sure. Is it actual ch challenging not because you have portrayed parts, but this time you were actually proper love making and all. Was it challenging or yeah. you just took it upon as another part of my job? It is challenging. I am a straight heterosexual man, so naturally, I'm, I'm, it's it's like I'm stepping out of my own element, right? Yeah. and trying something which is not natural to me so obviously it's like it's like it's like jumping out of a plane you know you're not humans are supposed to be on land not in the not flying in the air you jump out of a plane and you're out of your element you dive underwater you can't breathe you're out of your element um so yeah certainly uh, but you know what the thing is that once you've made the decision to take something up Half of those things you have, you've, you've already put aside when you made that decision. Thoda now, obviously, each time before I would have to shoot the scene of getting intimate with a man, certainly, I think for maybe one, you know, for 12 hours before the shoot, I, I would start getting a little bit of anxiety and nervousness and like, okay, okay, keep it together. I got to do this. But once you're on set, nothing matters. You know, you, it's all, um, yeah, everyone's there to work and you just better get over yourself and do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know? on, a, on, a lightest, on a lightest side, Arjun, I read yeah. something that uh, when you were performing these scenes, you would just picture yeah. your girlfriend and go for the men. What else to do? You know, <laughs> it's like to, to close your eyes, imagine you're kissing your girlfriend and just go for it. You know, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and did you and your co-stars Vikrant and all have conversations before kissing? Like, uh, how are we? I, no, not too much. Like, tech, like very basic, you know, the way men exchange with each other. <laughs> like, uh, like, hey man, yeah, you okay? Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> you know, without getting into too much uh, how you're feeling about it and all. But I think it does help, you know, like if, uh, like, 
I, I think majority of the men I uh, acted with were all or, or maybe or all um, were straight men playing these parts, you know. So um, it helps to kind of just acknowledge the nervousness yeah. between the two of you. And, uh, you know, once you're both nervous together, you overcome it together and it's two of you who have to do the scene. So it works out. Yeah. If, if, if you just put your feelings on the table and then go for it, I find it to be a little helpful. Yeah. Arjun, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but while kissing men yeah. on the show, you actually found love in your life? I did. Uh, well, me and my, uh, this, uh, uh, Tia Tejpal, who is my partner, she, we, we had met like a while before the show, but, uh, and had been spending time together and stuff. But yes, it is uh, during the show, I was shooting in Delhi and she was shooting a film called Karwan in Kerala. And uh, I think uh, it's it's really then uh, over the phone and stuff that our closeness really emerged. And um, I, I, I wasn't getting much time off from Made in Heaven. And, um, but when the first schedule ended, I got, I had three days off. I think in the entire schedule, start to finish the whole time that we were in Delhi, I must have got this like one window of three days off, wherein I made a trip to Bombay and we met and stuff. And um, strangely enough, the very next day, she got a call from Made in Heaven saying that we need you desperately. So join us. <laughs> so yeah, and then both of us were on the show together. As cheeky as it sounded, it was seemed like match actually made in heaven. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> Arjun, uh, I was uh, reading some of your interviews. One of the most interesting thing which I came to know, you were uh, uh -huh. an AD on uh, Q Hogyana where with uh, yeah, that, Murray yeah. on the lead, and you yeah. misplaced one of her sarees. <laughs> it happened. How it traumatic happen, was that yeah. for an AD, for a young AD? Oh, it was huge, man. Like, I remember the day, like, uh, you know, we were looking for the sari and it couldn't be found and it came to light that, you know, basically it came to light that I I was last with it. It was my responsibility and it was nowhere to be found suddenly. And man, I, it, was, it was hard and um, I remember uh, being called on set. It was, the shoot was not on. But it was like post, you know, rap and everything. And I was on set and I went there and my director, Samir, was there. And, I, uh, you know, Ashwari, I was sitting with him. And, uh, yeah, and I got a proper shouting, man. Yeah, it was it was scary. You worked in films like My Name is Khan with Shah Rukh Khan and with, you know, Farah. Yeah. In Lagbaj. Yeah. You were also an AD with Amir and uh, Mangal Pandey, if I'm not wrong. And, and Rangde Basanti. Yeah. And Rangde Basanti. Tell me... Um, yeah. What do you have to say about these, like Shah Rukh, Amir, working with them? What's what's that one memory which you will always cherish? With Shah Rukh, sir, I've uh, only ever worked as an actor in My Name is Khan and another ad that I did with him. With Amir, sir, there's been much more uh, interaction because like through two films, I was uh, working as an AD through two of his films. I'd also like to add about Mr. Bachchan on Bunty or Bubbly. So, you know, like certain actors that I've gotten to observe through my aiding years only. And, there's, and and that was my intention. You know, I always did want to act. I was aiding just to like learn and, you know, be around sets and stuff. Um, it was a, it was, it was my, it was a, it was an education completely, you know, watching these actors imbibing whatever I could from them about their work ethic or professionalism or, you know, the way they approach a scene or a, like Amir, for example, like really, his thinking is like above and beyond somewhere. Arjun, now I want to quiz you on some really fun questions. A little bit around okay. your show. Okay. So, around what? Your show, Made in Heaven. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. If you were an actual wedding planner, what would hmm. be the one suggestion you'd give young couples of today? Don't get married. <laughs> <laughs> My next question was, what's your take on marriage? Ah, oh, man. It's like, whatever. It's a piece of paper. It's no sign of commitment. It's like, whatever. It's, I think it's an archaic. Um, I mean, whatever. To each his own. It's great. Fine. You know, you love it. You love it. I mean, I personally, I, I hate going to weddings, actually. I think a lot of my 
uh, hatred for them is coming from there. But I just hate like getting decked up and going to a wedding. Yeah, ठीक है the food is nice, but <laughs> it's really like also like I've been married and divorced in the past, so like maybe some of it comes from there. But I don't know. Um, but that did give me a lot of license, you know, like to avoid going to weddings because I used to just be like I used to get an invitation and be like, yeah, you know, weddings make me very emotional. Yeah, I'm not going to go. Thank you so much, Arjun, for being part of Filmfest Spotlight. Always fun chatting with you. Got to know so much more about you this time. And <laughs> once again, big congratulations for the nomination and big, big luck uh, whenever this ceremony happens. Thank you, thanks, Rahul. Thank you, Filmfest. Thank you for having me. Big luck to my audience. Please yeah. watch uh, my older work also. Now that you know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you soon you take care All right bye thank you bye. thank you